Hi, hello, how are you? Welcome back to another episode of our Shining Pearl playthrough. Uh, recap of last episode, we went through the Mount Coronet area, went into Heart Home City, uh, spoke to Fantina, and did a little bit of a walk around. Got our Pokemon to follow us, so now we've got our little Scorpy here. Uh, who we also added uh, before, prior to last episode, um, but last episode was the first time you guys saw him. And we also added a new member here, Kranados, to join us. So what we're going to do is we're going to get Kranados to walk with us. He'll walk together with Kranados. Oh yes, good. He gets a little T-Rex run going. You love to see it, don't you? You love to see it. Okay, well we're going to make our way onwards. So we can't battle the gym leader here. But what we can do is start to make our way to Valstone City. Oh, and I want to give him the amulet coin. So that we can get some extra stuff. And I will probably give him some moves, I think. Rock Tomb, I think that's going to be a good one for Kranidos. I, I, oh, Vault Switch. After making its attack, the, the user rushes back to switch places with the party Pokemon in waiting. I think that we'll give that to Luxio. Yeah, let's do it. Spark, Bite, Thundershock. Thundershock's our only special attack move at the moment. We have Spark, which is physical. Volt Switch. Volt Switch is special. Okay. Well, I think that makes it an easy choice. We'll do Thundershock. Excuse me, sir. What do you have to say? Hi, do you want a Pokemon egg? They found this at the nursery. Want to take it? Yes. 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 Who is this? Is it Togepi? Uh, that's actually first, because we're here. Let's get our good rod. Yeah, our good rod's pretty good. Take this good rod. Thank you very much, sir. I'll take the good rod. Uh, yeah, we know how to fish. We're all good. Okay, let's battle you, sir. Let me see how much you've raised your Pokemon. Alright, you can have a look. I will show you firsthand. Bonza. Bonsly. Bone. Boneless. Excellent. He's doing well, Kronidos. Good start. I mean... His, his attack is really high. I, I'll, after this battle, I will um, compare his attack stat to my other Pokemon. And we'll see where it's at, even though he's 10, 12 levels lower. Yeah, we don't, I'm surprised how low his other stats are, to be completely honest. And we took out his Pichu. Lovely. I thought he would have some defense as a rock type, but he doesn't, which is such a shame. Okay, let's take a look at his attack stat. 51. Our level 26 Scorpy is at 37. Grottles at 64 at level 28, and then 54 for a level 28 Luxio. So he's he's got a very good attack stat. Oh, who are you? Yay, haha, yes. Good stuff. Love to see someone working hard. Another jar of honey. And, okay. So, we got the good rod from this guy. Little, uh, story for you. Once we face this person here. Hello? Do you jog every morning too? No. Oh, God, no. Hey, a lot of these people don't battle you. Oh, there's a fan club guy. We... I might do that off stream. Uh, this person here? Yes, double battle. Excellent. Um, little story for you. Getting the good rod there. This was the first time that I actually figured out how to get a Gyarados. One of my favourite uh, favorite Pokemon. If you saw my video on uh, my all-time favourite Pokemon team, Gyarados was included in that list. And... I, um... Oh, not very effective. That's 
let's just go bug bite, hey? Um, I remember I caught the good rod and thought, hey, if I get a magic carp at like close to level 20, which is when I think it evolves, then I can put it in the daycare. Back in the day, the daycare used to level them up still. Um, then I can take it out, be really close to leveling it up. Or I could just put it out first and then get it to take the levels and swap it out. This is 10 year old me thinking, right? You know, how can I, how can I figure out how to get this Magikarp to turn into a Gyarados? Because Magikarp obviously is a bit useless um, and can't do much on his own. And so I remember when I figured it out first for the first time uh, and I, oh, lovely. Uh, and I was able to add him in, into my team. Oh god, that was that was such a moment for like 10 year old me, 11 year old me, 12 year old me, however old I was. Uh, I like put all this stuff together and got this Gyarados. I was just really pleased, you know? So there, this, this specific spot here where you get the good rod, you can start to catch Pokemon close to level 20. Uh, this was where I first figured it out how to Get a Gyarados, my fav and Gyarados is my favourite water type Pokemon that exists. Uh, Blastoise is up there uh, as a close one. I like Lapras as well, although I can I can never remember if Lapras is Ice type. It might even be both. Uh, Greninja obviously is a cool one, you know. I do like Greninja, um, and there's heaps of others that I'm obviously forgetting off the top of my head. But uh, yeah, Gyarados, and then I'd have to probably put Blastoise second. But they are the ones. Let's go and face. Oh no, you don't. You're just running around. A wild Pokemon came with me. I ran so fast. I was on top of the waves. I swear. Maybe you were surfing, dude. Um, hello. There is a broken, crumbling tower made of stone. It seems to be a spot that would be a perfect fit for the odd keystone. Would you like to use your keystone? Yeah, of course. The stone tower has been restored. Hallowed tower is written on it. It's the hallowed tower. Its stones appear to have shifted. Alright, so now... I, I have to check. I don't think I got enough. But every time you talk to a certain number of NPCs... It, um... Oh, look. Let's battle this person while we here. It will change what it says when you speak to them. So that's how you can kind of know that you're getting closer and closer to it. Um... But, if the theory is correct, it doesn't start counting the NPCs that you've spoken to until you put that odd keystone in. So at least now we've got it in, and we can kind of go from there all that often. Smash this Cleffa with some rocks, excellent stuff, you love to see it. Is there a Pokemon Center in the next town? I don't, I think there is, but I do want to go back and speak to the um, Pokemon fan club guy. I think they'll give me something. Oh, hello? Oh, that's a statue. Did you find it underground? I've been underground. I've seen many statues. I've always wanted to see one of those. I'll give these to you as my way of saying thanks. Oh, some star stickers. That's gonna be sick. That'd be perfect for like a Jirachi or a Mew or whoever. Anything down here? Tiny little mushroom? Yes. He found a bottle of calcium. It's essentially a bottle of milk to get you big, strong bones. Um, let's get off the bike, because it's awkward to manoeuvre. Battle you. Hello. Hello. Hi there. Where are you from? What kinds of Pokemon have you got? That was my, uh, country accent. Wow. Five Pokemon. Are they going to be all Bidoofs? Level, like, nine? Because I swear to God. Okay, we hit it with a Rock Tomb. Yeah, with, with some moves. I, uh, like Scary Face and whatnot. I'm starting to get more into using moves that set up a little bit. Um... Whereas when I was younger um, and previously, I just would be like all out attack every time. I would kind of deem it as like, hey, the more you attack, the more you more you can bring its health down quicker. You know that kind of mentality. Um, but I have started to come around on the idea of having more uh, setup moves 
like growth and swords dance and you know whatever it might be um, I have yeah started to appreciate them much much more um, but I do still tend to like an offensive thing. I don't really do stealth rocks stealth rock I don't really do trick room um, also that's partly because I don't do much competitive battling and I mostly just stick to stuff here now I think this is steel wing right I mostly just stick to playing like the anime uh, in the game steel wing excellent this guy does some stuff yeah, let's see if we've got any Pokemon that he would like. Because we can get some good things. Oh, welcome! You saw the notice outside about us hiring, right? Is that a Pokedex? Well, then you must know Professor Rowan. Uh, you're just the Pokemon searching expert we have been looking for. I want you to bring me a Chingling. I do not have a Chingling, my, my friend. Yikes. I think something with him will be stuff that I do off-stream. Pokemon history. Oh. Lovely. I do like the, the Pokedex apps. Let's, let's, let's have a quick look through our apps, shall we? And it looks like the Pokedex goes away when you're not using it. That's kind of cool. Nice little pictures of our squad. Them floating around. I don't know what this one is. Nice. Awesome. Uh, any hidden items around the place? Nope. Obtained Pokemon. This looks like the history. Yes, so I do have an Electivire here, but that's because that was part of the trade for me to get an Elekid, I believe. But we are going to come down here and make our way into the Lost Tower. Now, we'll battle one Pokemon in here. We'll see what happens, but then I think we're going to need to use Repels. Hello, child. Ah! It's a ghost! Spooky! Oh, you can't see it, but there's a magpie staring me down at my window right now. Rock Tomb. Here we go. Cricket Tomb's about to get fucked up. Lovely. You love to see it. Suck to suck sometimes, Cricket Tomb. I'm sorry. Level 18, excellent. Is it level 20 that it evolves, or is it in the 30s? Might even be in the 30s. But I had a feeling it was level 20. I don't know why. Maybe I thought you got it at level 20. Dude, these magpies. Hello. <laughs> they are right up at the window. Uh, let's rock to him. <clears throat> uh, but, you know, you work around it as best you can. I like the trees in, in nature, you know, I like the shade, um, like privacy as well, having all the trees around uh, means you don't necessarily see so much of your neighbours, you, you can wear not as many clothes when you're outside, which is something that I do, um, if I'm out getting a tan, oh, we haven't burst a Pokemon yet, what's up dude? I can't explain it. Being here compels me to battle. I mean, if we were anywhere, you would you would want to battle me. So, you know. Sent out a Pichu. Oh, he's got a little Poke Pikachu friend. Child. He's a dad. Oh, wait. If that kid's not there, is that a ghost? I'm, I'm not kidding you. I did not see that kid there initially. If that kid isn't there when we go back, is this where his dead kid lives? I mean, I'm pretty sure this was like a Pokemon cemetery, but that could be... Or oh, maybe I'm just saying this stuff and he's there and I, I sound dumb, but I don't remember him being there. That's my theory. Are we looking at a ghost right now? Um, should be no problems, but, uh, I've got some other things to do. Huh? What was I just doing? Where is this kid? He's not there. That kid ain't there.
that's I'm I'm gonna say oh, is he though no that is the ghost of his son I'm calling it right now you heard it here first does it say anything no it doesn't of course not I'm gonna say that that was the ghost of his son and that's who he's visiting visiting while he's here I also had the amulet coin on, so we, in front of his dead kid, took all of his money. But, uh, hey, you win some, you lose some, you know? I need to shake off my sorrow. Please, battle with me. Now, if everyone starts showing up with an extra person, then we know. Rock Tomb. Let's see. This is going to need to kill it, because I think we die otherwise. Yes. Just. Excellent. And then the next one's a double battle. So I won't heal him because hopefully he can just survive and we can get Scarby to take take some dudes out. Kranados will move last, so Weasel could could knock it out with a water type move. Yeah, damn. That sucks. Uh, the only water type that I would consider using in this playthrough is probably Floatzel uh, and Weasel because they are native. I know I just said earlier that Gyarados is my favourite, but I have used Gyarados in this region, like I told you, that's how I figured out how to use him. Um, but these days, as I've gotten older, I like to use Pokemon native to that to this region. Um, one, Another one is Milotic, and I don't think Milotic's native to this region. I believe that uh, Milotic's from Hoenn, the, the region prior to this one, Emerald and Ruby and stuff. Uh, but Cynthia does have a Milotic, so I do make a little bit of an exception with my rule in circumstances like that, where an important trainer has uh, a Pokemon like that. I don't want to look bad again. Oh, my boyfriend's watching. Oh no, I can't embarrass myself again. Not in front of my girlfriend. Why are they so embarrassed? Huh? You tell me. Maybe they got scared. I mean, they have a ghost type. They should be pretty cool, you know? Ponchcrow with Murkrow, that is also another one that I very heavily considered using in this playthrough. Uh, ultimately decided against it. Um, because I, I'm not really going to get a flying type, and there was just too many good ones to, to choose from. Does Bug do much against Ghost? I think it does more against Psychic. I don't really remember. Uh, let's see. No, not much at all. Not effective. Wow. Terrible choice from me. Yikes. Knockoff probably does, right? Or does it not affect it? Yeah, no, it was knockoff I should have used. That was it. Damn, dim, billy damn. Kranados up to level 19. Good work. No, I don't want scary face. I'm good. makes me feel hollow inside. Oh, so hollow. Oh, jeez, that's a downer. Oh, jeez, Rick. Oh, hello, creepy old ladies. Yes. Uh, you gonna give me some stuff? Let me make your journey out of this place less frightening. Hey, take this. Yeah, I think the cleanse tag, it either prevents them from coming or you can run away. It will help keep wild Pokemon away so you can leave unhindered. No, not you, sorry. Wrong person. I'd like to speak to this lady now. The Lost Tower is where the spirits of departed Pokemon are put to rest. Those that enjoyed long lives, those whose times were short, and all the departed Pokemon shall find solace here. It is good of you to have visited. Here, take these technical machines my attempt at a granny. Strength. So we get strength super early, but you can't do it until you get the steel gym badge, I believe. What is it? Oh, this comes out here. Oh, I didn't even realize. Uh, I wanted to use just Pokeballs so that everything came out in a Pokeball. Uh, then I started to try and line it up with color um, of the Pokemon that I caught. So if I caught a dark, darker looking Pokemon, I try and use a Dusk Ball or a Black Ball of some kind, something like that. 
My son just loves those nearby ruins. If you don't mind, can you show him the Pokemon you catch? Sure. If I know who your son is, yeah. Um, I have to go back this way and then go around. One more time, we should be right to go in. Um, because, you know, for a while I just used Quick Balls. And I was a Quick Ball Machine. Hey. Um, it was just do it as fast as you can. Best chance of catching it. And off we go. Types situation. Uh, but I don't necessarily want to do that anymore. Okay. Let's go down here first. We'll explore this first one. Nothing. Okay. So this is where we can catch unknowns. We'll definitely catch at least one. Oh, I like the little, like... Now that's probably translated to something. Right? Top, maybe? Top floor? F-L-O-O-R? No, it couldn't be. Yeah, no, I don't know. I'll look it up someday. Repel. Lovely. So I won't use a repel in here because I'd like to catch at least a couple different unknowns, perhaps. Um, let's go up here first. Yep. Nothing. Cool. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Hey, kid. There's something really weird about these ruins. That's why I like coming here. But then again, hey, come to my house later. I'll give you a ball capsule so you can put stickers on it. That's probably the kid who had the mum earlier. That's my bet. Hello, sir. This place is teeming with unknown. There has to be some meaning to this. The truth can be found. I'll start my search by fucking you up in a Pokemon battle. That was a bit rude, sir. You got a bit of scruff going on the cheeks? Yeah, yeah okay, okay. Um, alright. I don't know how this battle is going to go for us. Oh, uh, yeah, everything's not very effective. I'm going to swap into Grottle. Um, and if something is that Kronidos can handle a bit quicker and a bit easier, then I'll swap him back. I wasn't concerned about him fainting at all. More so just um, want to get through this battle as fast as I can. Because we are running out of time, unfortunately. So, Razor Leaf should be enough to take care of at least this Geodude. Excellent. Nice and easy battle. The only thing that I don't like about uh, using a Grottle in those circumstances is that it means that Grottle's going to level up even more. And he is way past the levels that I need at this point. Uh, let's go down this one. Good. Yeah, I like to go to all the ones that don't go ahead first. Um, but yeah, like Grottle doesn't need any more levels right now, you know? Uh, we'll go back, because we'll probably go to the other one instead. Yep. Cool, nothing there. Um, he's level 30, whereas Kranidos is 19, everyone else is in the 20s. Nothing on this one either, okay. And then into the final, final one. Um, no, maybe not the final one. My apologies. You found the big mushroom. I sure did. Uh, let's try this one up here. Nope, let's go to the other one. Haven't versed a wild Pokemon yet, have you noticed that? Not a single unknown, and we don't have a repel on or anything. Alright, let's go, let's go up one more. There was a spot here in Diamond and Pearl that I don't know if I ever really figured out how to actually reach. There was like a Pokeball up on a little ledge that I could never figure out how to get to. I don't know if I noticed it in here though. I wonder if this maybe means we have to go and catch all of those. A mind plate? Lovely. That's uh, for improved psychic type, right? 
Two beings of time and space set free from the original one. You put the mind plate in the bag. From the original one. So the original one's probably Arceus, right? And then time and space was... He created time and space with Diago and Palkia. Hello. Odd incense. Nice. Rare candy. It's a good little... Little hatch here. And a nougat. Lovely. I can make us a bit of dosh. So is there a little ledge up there, up top? Yeah, up there. There's a little little ledge. I don't see a Pokeball up there. No, I can't see it anymore if we walk back in. Um, but yeah, you see that little top bit up there? I think there used to be a Pokeball up there back in the day, and maybe it was just for flavor. But, um, anyway, that's going to be the end for me for this episode. I'll quickly heal up in here, uh, but I'm getting my notification that it is time to end the stream and my YouTube video. So, uh, we'll heal up quickly. We managed to get through all of our stuff just in time. We'll run out here. Okay. YouTube, thank you for watching. Uh, little episode today where we made our way through around into... What town is this? Is it Salacion Town? Salacion Town. Yep, came through to Salacion Town. Uh, went into the Lost Tower. Made our way up through there. Into the Unknown Caves as well. Um, and had our little spooky adventure. This is our spooky episode. Uh, if it came out on Halloween or maybe on my birthday, uh, which is also on Halloween. Uh, so this is our little spooky episode going through the town. And next episode, we will make our way to Valstone City and hopefully battle the gym leader. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.